Elon Musk was tired of what was happening at OpenAI. He had just successfully completed his long-due Cybertruck commitment, but he is not done. This time, it is something truly exciting, as the second iteration of the Tesla Optimus bot has been unveiled with sleek design, unparalleled agility, and advanced capabilities. This stunning creation redefines the boundaries of innovation. What inspired the design and functionality upgrades in Optimus Gen 2, setting it apart from its predecessor? Let me take you to the company's headquarters in Palo Alto, California to see how these robots are doing different things with different levels of dexterity. So, earlier this week, Tesla unveiled Optimus Gen 2, the second generation of the Tesla bot. This bipedal robot has the ability to walk independently, dance, and manipulate physical objects. But what shook me was this official statement. According to Optimus's official bio, the robot is a general-purpose bipedal humanoid robot capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring. Let me focus on the safety aspect first. I mean, no details have been officially documented, but I believe it can be used in industrial tasks that present life hazards. They can be deployed in nuclear and uranium-related applications. They can be deployed in oil fields. They can be used where sharp CNC cutting machines render humans vulnerable to injuries and harm. But how are they able to move with such finesse? To replicate human movement, Gen 2 features integrated electronics and sensors, hands with 11 degrees of freedom, a 2DOF actuated neck, torque-sensing feet, tactile finger sensors, and an end-to-end -end trained neural network. But being a tech freak, if you ask me, I think Optimus Gen 2 has significantly improved since the first version was unveiled at the Tesla 2022 AI Day. For instance, the Gen 2 version improves balance and movement, walks 30% faster, weighs 10 kilograms less, and on top of that, features greater hand mobility. In terms of technology, this is some change. It looks much more streamlined and humanoid, moves much more smoothly smoothly, balances better, and walks a fair bit less like its soilet's trousers. Although you still wouldn't want to get in an elevator with anyone walking like that, with new white bodywork, it's more Model S than the old Optimus's bare metal Cybertruck look. And as the video unveils, it's also gained the ability to dance, at least as good as Elon himself. However, let me emphasize once again that this latest announcement highlights that Optimus Gen 2 has come a long way from the initial prototypes of Optimus and Bumblebee. from. 2022. Back then, Optimus couldn't walk, while Bumblebee could walk and conduct basic tasks like manipulating boxes and watering plants. While these initial prototypes received a lukewarm reception from some critics at the time, Gen 2's capabilities have expanded significantly quickly. But to everyone's surprise, in the latest advertising footage shared by Tesla CEO Elon Musk via a post on X, Optimus Gen 2 can be seen walking, dancing to music, performing squat thrusts, and perhaps, most impressively, picking up and moving an egg without breaking the shell. It's a super impressive new robot, and the pace of hardware development here has been absolutely wild, even if Tesla still seems a fair way behind Boston Dynamics and its remarkable Atlas robot in terms of athleticism and capability. But Atlas isn't designed to be mass manufactured, an area in which Musk and Tesla have proven themselves every bit as innovative as they have with their products, like Cybertruck. Indeed, Atlas is at this stage merely a research platform, while Tesla, Figure, Agility, Fourier, Sanctuary, Aptronics, and many others are explicitly preparing humanoids to hit the workforce in mass. Yet even though Optimus's capabilities are growing, the official release date and pricing have yet to be confirmed, though Musk has stated that the robot will cost much less than $20,000 to purchase once it is released. Tesla is also currently recruiting new talent to help drive the development of the bot, with the official website noting that they're hiring deep learning, computer vision, motion planning, controls, mechanical, and general software engineers to solve some of their hardest engineering challenges. Now, you all must be wondering, where does Optimus Gen 2 belong in the robotics market today? According to my research, the humanoid robotics market will grow significantly from a value of 1.8 billion US dollars in 2023 to 13.8 billion dollars by 2028. Although the market is in its early stages, beyond its futuristic aesthetic, one of the main selling points of Optimus so far has been its focus on general 
all-purpose human mobility, and particularly when it comes to hand dexterity. For instance, using 11 degrees of freedom and tactile sensors on Optimus's fingers enables the robot to move physical devices with a high degree of care. That being said, Sanctuary's AI General Purpose Phoenix robot features hands with 20 degrees of freedom, with the ability to pick up, place, sort, and stack objects, with demonstrations showing the ability to scan items, solder, place objects in a plastic bag, and serve food. This approach is distinct from other leading innovators in the space, like Boston Dynamics, who produced humanoid robots like Atlas, which focus on explosive movement. Atlas stands 1.5 meters high and weighs 89 kilograms. It not only has the ability to lift, carry, and throw objects, but it can navigate its environment with a high level of mobility via parkour or dance like a human. At the same time, Optimus Gen 2 also fails to compete with advanced humanoid robots like Hanson Robotics Sophia and Engineered Arts Amica, which are primarily designed to replicate human facial expressions and to interact with human beings in face-to-face -face scenarios. In addition, Musk has also stated that Tesla's work on Optimus is differentiated due to its focus on creating a robot that can be manufactured at scale rather than as a one-off research product. When it was first announced, it seemed to be a half-baked idea from CEO Elon Musk with a dancer disguised as a robot for visual aid. It also didn't help that the demo at Tesla AI Day last year was less than impressive. At the time, Tesla had a very early prototype that didn't look like much. It was also barely able to walk around and wave at the crowd. That was about it. But I did note that the idea behind the project made sense. Of course, everyone knows the value of a humanoid robot that could be versatile enough to replace human labor cheaply, but many doubt it's achievable in the short term. China is the world's largest market for industrial robots, with 943,200 units installed as of 2020. China believes that it could turn all its industries robot-powered by 2030, saving loads of money on labor and labor-related issues. Tesla believed it to be possible by leveraging its AI work on its self-driving vehicle program and expertise in batteries and electric motors. It argued that its vehicles are already robots on wheels. Now, it just needs to make them in humanoid forms to be able to replace humans in some tasks. We did note that the project was gaining credibility with the update at Tesla's 2023 shareholders meeting last year. At the time, Tesla showed several more prototypes that all looked more advanced and started to perform actually useful tasks. We had also received an update back in September. In that report, Tesla said that Optimus is now being trained with neural nets end-to-end, -end, and it was able to perform new tasks, like sorting objects autonomously. And to me, the toughest part of making a useful humanoid robot is the hands. They need to be strong enough to support significant weights, yet able to be precise enough to handle delicate objects, whereas the company said that it plans to soon start using the robot in its own manufacturing operations. Once it has proven its usefulness, Tesla plans to start selling the robot. In a previous update on Optimus, Tesla CEO Elon Musk claimed that the Optimus stuff is extremely underrated. The CEO said that the demand could be as high as 10 to 20 billion units. I am happy to see that Tesla is making good progress on the robotic front, but I am a little bit more skeptical about the AI part. Considering the status of full self-driving beta, Tesla's work on FSD is supposed to be the basis for Optimus's AI and until that is figured out, and it's certainly not right now, I don't see Optimus working. It doesn't mean that one day it won't, but we kind of need to see FSD work first. As stunning as Tesla's new hardware looks, the hardware is probably the least important hurdle here. What all the humanoid makers need to do is demonstrate their robots doing real work in the real world in a repeatable, reliable, and flexible manner. That's when they'll start stepping in and changing the world. And for a glimpse at how that's currently going, check out how quickly Toyota is teaching robots to use tools and complete various kitchen tasks. Spoiler, visual AIs are watching humans work and learning new capabilities within hours. The pace of progress in 2023 has been absolutely staggering, friends, and it's only going to accelerate from here. I must say, major upheavals are coming from all directions. The bottom line is that Optimus still has a long way to go in development, but Tesla's initial demonstrations of the second generation's capabilities are the most promising to date. When considering the impressive capabilities demonstrated by cutting-edge robots like Sophia and Atlas, it is clear there is a growing ecosystem of disruptive robotic solutions which have the potential to be a powerful force multiplier for AI as a technology. Well, the future is mysterious and exciting, filled with endless possibilities and unknown dangers. The development of AI is rapidly increasing and its intelligence will eventually surpass that of humans. But 
Is this a cause for celebration or concern? Musk envisions a future where humans and AI work together to achieve great things, rather than being locked in a struggle for dominance. And to always stay safe, you need to be informed. For that, subscribe to Innovella, where I try all my might to bring the latest and greatest from the AI world.